I'd like to approach this question in a different sense. So instead of thinking about who is responsible for driving impact investing, I'll say who is concerned about filling this funding gap that was mentioned earlier. If you remember um, from the keynote speech, 3.8 million is needed to fund the SDGs and development assistance is currently decreasing. However, we have 11 trillion in private capital. So just considering all of this, you can see it has to be a concerted effort of everyone. It's not just the government who is tasked with this responsibility of driving more socially driven businesses. The private sector also needs to be involved. Us donor agencies also need to be involved. Um, so from Ford Foundation's perspective, we approach impact investing in two separate ways. First of all, is through our grant making, or you could call it our program-related investing. We deploy capital with little to no expectation of returns under our program-related investing. And we do this because we want to de-risk these social enterprises so that they can receive more capital. I'll give an example. Um, if anyone has heard of the Made in Aba campaign, I don't know if anyone's familiar with it. Yes. So we essentially funded the Made in Aba campaign to set up an association of Aba shoemakers so that they could collect lines of credit. And we did this because Bank of Industry had expressed to us that they were interested in extending a line of credit, but they were worried about the possibility of collecting, yes, exactly, risk, the risk of collecting on returns. And so we decided to take on that risk and by setting up this association through our grant making, through our funding, we were able to de-risk the investment and allow BOI to extend about 4 million Naira to these Abbas shoemakers. So 